I hope everybody is doing okay today. I am Trish with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. Let's see what kind of messages Spirit has for us for the next few days. These will be messages for all those who are already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process. Happy holidays to those of you who celebrate. Hope everybody's staying safe. We had to cancel our celebrations uh, today and tomorrow due to... Uh, the road's not being so great, so I'm a little bit bummed out. I won't get to see my kids. Um, just is what it is. I'm trying to stay positive, and uh, we're going to just celebrate on New Year's Day. So if you've got to do that, I understand the frustration. So magic is in the air. This is a magic of things coming together. This is a card of webs that have been woven and what I mean by that is you've put in the work you've set up these little milestones so to speak and now all of these things are kind of mapping and networking back together so whatever it is certain projects maybe there was several projects you had to put certain time and energy into and once you got all of those things complete something aligned something comes together so for many of you this is just a card of alignment one 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 guys that's positivity manifestations things coming together staying positive uh, creative energy, things of that sort. So we do have the future love letter, which is a message asking us to write a letter to ourself now, our present self from our future self. So this is referring to, you know, celebrating and giving thanks for all of the accomplishments or, you know, whatever it is that you've been able to establish or what have you. But, you know, give gratitude from your future self to your present self for all of the hard work, dedication, maybe even saying things like what you've accomplished that way you can use that as a form of like goal setting in a way so we do have grace which is talking about just that this is a time of coming into more flow is when i'm feeling grace flow things just seemingly uh fitting together working out things of that sort so for many of you you've been feeling like you've been in the dark or maybe if it wasn't really a dark spot it just felt like things weren't moving ahead for moving forward 210 in the way that you would like it to. However, Spirit is saying that things are going to start flowing now. You're going to start to start to really feel a shift in energy. For many of you, um, there's something to do with the Mars return. I don't know what that means, but that's what Spirit is telling me right now. So you may want to go look that up. So uh, whatever that means for you, then it, it means that for you. But anyway, a Mars return, whatever that means. So um, there is also balance card, which came, which is... I can't even speak today. Take me back to this first card, which is about uh, alignment. So something that's coming into a balance, you can see things are starting to align. Uh, many of you, it's because of a lot of dedication, just pushing through no matter what. We do have confirmation, which means that there's something that you've been putting energy into that you've been working really hard to either master for some of you, you may even have taken a time off and worked through like ego that has to do with for like me, when I take time off and rest, I, I had for a while, I don't now, but I had for a while these feelings of guilt and uh, like I was never going to achieve anything because I was resting too much or whatever. Even though intuitively I knew my body needed the rest, my body was telling me it needed the rest, spirit would tell me to rest. My ego was like telling me, nope, 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 you have to be up and going and doing things. So one of the things that I learned through that ego death is that I can make money. I can still get things accomplished when I rest. Okay, so some of you have mastered getting past those energies that are holding you back in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't have to be just like that, um, you know, example that I gave. But there's something that maybe uh, you've mastered finally. And now you can move forward and move forward with ease and flow is what I'm feeling. Yes, yes, yes. So we do have cloud meditation, which is asking you to look up. This means that there's some sort of synchronistic uh, things that may be being shown. Images, words. It could just be um, that that you just see something in the sky as you're looking up. It doesn't even have to do with the clouds, but maybe a, a certain bird that's flying around 420 guys look that up on sacred scribe, but a certain bird that may be flying around and maybe it's one of your animals sim uh, that you need to look up for animal symbolism or whatever. If I didn't tell you guys already, my hands are blue from tie dye. They're not dirty. It's <laughs> I got tie dye all over me. Um, anyhow, and there's something that is being shown to you as you look up. So whether it be in the clouds, maybe there's uh, something uh, that you may see an image in the moons or something of that sort. But however, this is cloud meditation. So for many of you, it's going to be referring to images in the clouds. So we do have bliss, which is talking about 
oneness. I have been feeling oneness coming out with a lot of the readings lately. So four, five, six, a lot of you, this alignment with magic, this uh, balance that's happening through the chaos. So what I mean is 505, there's chaotic things that are happening. There may be tower events that are happening that are clearing out the rest of the energy. Just like I was telling you with this card of mastering something that has to do with the ego, some of you um, are also having to release other things um, so that not release, clear other things so that you can come into balance. So, um, but I'm feeling a, a deep connection with like nature, with the elements, with things like uh, beings from other dimensions or other realities is what I'm feeling with this bliss card. So many of you may be getting to a point of zero point energy also, um, Maybe this is Spirit's way of telling you when you're meditating, set intentions on getting to that zero point energy. If you're not already somebody that connects with a, any level of oneness, then this is the place to go. So 555, positive change and transformation. When you're meditating, focus on that area right there between the root chakra and the sacral chakra or just both of those areas together at one time. Expand them, expand them, expand them. Allow yourself to just drift off if you or feeling like you're not breathing as much as you should, that's because spirit has taken over your breathing. You're on the way to that zero point energy. So just keep going and moving past that energy. So for many of you, this oneness is bringing on new magic because a lot of times when we get to that blissful state, it's just like every uh, thing that we had ever learned about um, the spiritual realm, about the universe, about who we truly are is kind of shattered. Why? Because a lot of the things that we've been taught are wrong. Okay, it's it's wrong because no one really knew the truth or, you know, how to really get to this point. But what I'm feeling with this is a lot of us are in this energy of, you know, those energies were shattered. Those illusions were shattered. And now we can't wait to get back to that blissful state that state where we feel like we are everything, we are creation, we are the creator. It's also a place where we feel the void, but we also feel uh, bodiless. We feel uh, very connected to spirit as if we are source itself. So for many of you, those illusions that have been shattered are bringing you to this place of um, like transitioning into learning more about zero point energy, but I'm also feeling some of you are transitioning into learning about Kundalini energy and what it does. And this is just spirit's way of getting you to a new level in your ascension journey. A lot of us are in this energy of learning to be patient with what is flowing into our life. So if things don't seem to flow the way that you feel like they're supposed to flow, this is an energy of tolerance, being patient, trusting in the process, being in flow, even if the flow doesn't feel like flow to you. Whatever the flow is for you, flow with it. Um, thank you. What other messages do you have for us, please? Am I supposed to take both of those? So we have uh, star bathing, which means just that. Get out and get in. I know it's really cold right now here in Ohio, so wherever you are, if it's cold, I know that, that you're not going to want to go out and uh, stargaze. However, get into your window. Look up at the sky. Pull the energy down from the moon or from a star and just start bathing in it. This is something that is going to help you to activate your crystalline grid or, or maybe even connect you more with something that you're aligning with for whatever reason. When we get the universe involved, things seem to align even faster. So this may be what Spirit is trying to tell you. It's underneath the chaos and balance card, which means some things have to be out of balance to become into balance. So some of you may even be feeling, um, not feeling, learning about um, the different laws of the universe and how they correspond to your everyday life. And if you uh, pay attention to them, how it's easier for you to navigate to and from your next steps. And what I'm feeling here is that some of the balance that's coming is due to the way that some of you are connecting with the universe and allowing it to be the navigator um, to show you the direction. So a lot of you, the universe and nature, uh, just the things that are around you looking into the sky, um, signs and synchronistic events throughout the day are leading you to your next uh, destination or your next step. So we do have Palladius energy, which tells me that there's something new that's beginning that is going to have a very um, inspiring, creative type of spark to it. When it begins, it's going to be creative. It's going to be empowering. Um, so this could be something different for all of you, of course. But I feel like for many of you, it's just that tapping into the magic of oneness. 
uh, blissful energy, zero point energy. If you don't know anything about oneness or zero point energy, kundalini energy, please look it up and start asking spirit to guide you to the videos that you need to watch. I have several things on, on my playlist for guided meditations and connecting with those types of energies. But I'm feeling very inspired at this time. The energies that may be coming through for most of you is probably inspired energy. We also have, um, you've got the love, which is talking about setting boundaries with yourself. Uh, not in 10, 10, not engaging in things that are of this world until you do things that are more connected with uh, getting connected with your spiritual life. And I was told to keep this card, but I'm also feeling a lot of uh, support. Okay. This is support from your ancestors, from your spirit guides, from your animal spirit team or what have you. Yes, yes, yes. They're saying which cards I get you. Thank you. Am I supposed to take these? They said no, but I'm going to read them. A personal issue uh, reaches resolution. A room, new romantic cycle begins. These are going to resonate with somebody. And then it's time to take a breath out, meaning you need to take time to relax, not worry about the stressors of what is happening right now. Go with the flow, be in the flow. Get into meditation, guys. If you're not meditating, getting to that zero point energy, then you're really doing yourself an injustice. This is such a big place to be. It's a place where a lot of things transform when it comes to if you're not used to connecting with spirit in ways of like intuition, seeing things in the 11-11, um, seeing things in the spiritual realm, um, you know, connecting with different gifts like clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairaudience, telepathy, telekinesis, things of that sort. They all start to take a different um, route once you're connected with bliss. That energy of, of zero point energy creation it's the creation energy so get connected with that it is so important meditate and contemplate i can't can't make this up just like i was saying this is a confirmation that meditation is where it's at setting intentions on connecting with zero point energy watch guided meditations that'll help you to get to that place Yes, I'm hearing open stellar gateway, uh, soul star in connection with earth star. Get in connected with those three things during a meditation and set intentions on connecting with them. And then you're going to see things completely differently. You're going to observe the world around you, the universe, the energies of oneness, the um, energy of empathy and all of, of what it entails. Because it's not just about filling other people's energy. It's also about bliss and connected with oneness. So for many of you, you're learning what that truly means. A lot of balance. We have one, two, three cards, four cards here talking about balance and alignment. So expect that a lot of things are going to happen in that sense. And they told me the bottom, your hard work is paying off your dedication, your commitment, your following through one, two, three, four progress guys. That's progress. Anyhow, um, I'm not going to make this reading long today. It is Christmas Eve. Even though I'm not doing things with my family tomorrow, I still have things that I am trying to get done. Um, wow, we got a lot of them today. So, solar plexus chakra. It governs personality, ego, and identity, as well as freedom, choice, and authenticity, personal power. It says, I am connected with other dimensions. Just like I was saying, guys, some of you are awakening to this big shift where you're starting to connect with oneness. And as you connect with oneness, you're able to connect with other realms, other dimensions. 1313, 13, magic that happens with the spiritual realm, supernatural experiences, all of the above are things that go along with this. Manifestations that happen just like that. Uh, healing that happens just like that. They're saying instant healing. I am super aware and hypersensitive. I see things as they truly are. My perceptions are changing. I am evolving. I am empathic. I hope that you got something out of this reading. Oh, almost forgot, guys. I am abundant in all areas of my life. I am balanced. There's the balance again. And I am free of negativity. I am confident. I hope that you guys got something out of this reading. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and follow if you don't already. If you're interested in the healing session slash full reading combo session um, that I am going to be raffling off tomorrow morning. You still have a chance at that. It is $20 for three numbers. Um, once you make the payment to either PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App, make sure that you're either messaging me or emailing me with an email address where I can let you know um, 
if you're the winner, you can also pick out your numbers if you really want to. If not, I can pick them out for you. But anyhow, either give me an email address or some way of getting a hold of you through Facebook Messenger. Please know that if you are asking me to message you on Facebook Messenger and we're not yet friends, that you should probably ask me to be your friend. It is Trish Poe or Trish Blanton on Facebook because I have looked up people several times and there's people that have uh, multiple people with the same exact name and I just don't know who you are. So... Please make sure to make sure that I know how to get a hold of you. Anyhow, I hope that everybody has a wonderful holiday. Please be safe. Much love to you guys. Bye.